Alright, so we are back. Ooh. So we're gonna be going upstairs. This thing has a different version of Ginkyu. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing with Metal Gear is that I'm gonna be posting uh, footage from the Twin Snakes aside from the LP so you guys can get to see both versions of it. Ugh, kinda damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built alright. Yeah, he's, uh, doing number two with his pants on. Marvelous. <laughs> so, um, so basically, you're gonna be seeing, like, these, uh, videos. It's gonna, um, probably gonna be calling them, uh, uh, Twin Snakes, uh, cool footage or something like that. So only the best scenes that you get to see on my LP then you're gonna be seeing the GameCube version of them so that you guys can have a feel of both games and uh, since nothing very important has happened so far that's why I haven't done anything but this little vent thing I'm gonna try and show you the GameCube version Is that a woman? Not <laughs> Yeah so I'm gonna be yeah, I think I'm gonna have to edit it out, and that means going out of this ventilation shaft from the entrance that I came in, and then you look inside, because in the GameCube version, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is walk back and look at this girl, and she will be changing her position. So I'm gonna be editing this out. I'll be getting out of the vent, going back in, and each time something different will happen with this woman. Or is it a woman? <laughs> Alright, so we look at her again, and now she's doing one hand push ups. Let's see what she does next time. And we are back. Now she's stretching her legs. <laughs> and let's see now. She's doing again sit ups with nothing but panties on. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of those little funny secret things. I'll show you later on a little funny Snakes. scene with the Darker Chief's signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. Yeah, yeah. Let me check it out. So, this is how you save Sorry, the game, basically. The won't you just work call in her. Space. Too much and, harmonic uh, resonance. The radio waves produce interference, and we can't analyze the topographic data. Mm. Try to hang on until you get to a more open space, okay? So this Don't is the save up, uh, option. Let me just check something really quick. Sorry, the so Nah, it's not gonna work in here. But anyways, that's how you save the game. So there's gonna be a lot of cutscenes here, guys. Probably till the next part. So, uh, enjoy! <laughs> sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They... could launch a nuke. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. 
What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Armstech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes, Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? President of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist! Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. They find out Baker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pad card. It works together with your body's own electrical field personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the car. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorists?